Hey guys, welcome back to an all new exciting episode of Conflicts. Today I'm pumped up to show you a brand new robot, aka the, the Mebot 2.0 by UbiTech. Now, we've seen UbiTech before make a variety of different robots, including Lynx, Alpha 1S Pro, the Mebot, and a variety of different Jimu robot series that we've seen as well. Now, this one being the latest is actually the upgraded version of MiBot, aka 2.0, featuring LED colored eyes, color sensor, and an integrated gear movement system that should be quite interesting to see. So in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, trying it out, and seeing exactly what it's all about. So if you guys wanted your very own, be sure to check out their link down below in the description. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, unbox this thing, and build ourselves a robot. Alright, so this here's the box that they sent us. So you do see Mebot 2.0 on the front here, kind of highlighting the main differences. So first of all, you get LED eyes, you get a gear system, you get six servos, and kind of this colorful looking character. So it is a STEM education kit, meaning you can go ahead and program it to do a variety of different tasks uh, using the Jim and Robot series uh, app itself, which is actually very nice. Now on the back here, kind of shows it in terms of exactly what you can do in terms of like building your robot, programming your actions and code sequences. Should be quite interesting to see exactly what it's all about. All right, let's go ahead and open this thing up. Okay. Nice. So it says, dream with robots. Okay, so we have ourselves, uh, looks like a guide exactly what it comes with. Uh, a quick start guide as well as a legal guide. So this will go ahead and show us like how to go ahead and kind of mount it up and, and like get it to going in terms of using the app goes. And then you have your variety of different pieces. So you have like some connectors, uh, you have some pieces in terms of like uh, attachments and then you have like block pieces. So this here's like our main, oops, so we have a few different pieces in here. All right, so we have our LED eyes. These are kind of cool looking, definitely cute looking. So this here is a color sensor. Uh, we have ourselves a USB-C cable to go ahead and charge it. Uh, this here's like our main hub or essentially how the robot kind of builds around it. All right, so you have these cards and they have like different like pictures on here and a different like a snowflake, a castle. And actually made out of really good things as well. So on the back side, you see all the different colors that you can go ahead and program it as well. So that's kind of neat. Uh, you have your connecting cables and then we have our servos. Uh, so our very standardized servos. Uh, so they get six of those. And yeah, that is that. So let's go ahead and boot up the app next and try this thing out. So this here is our app. I'm gonna click on open right now. There you go, just change to white. So welcome, blah, 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 skip, okay. Oh, so they actually changed the app too. So I haven't seen this in a while. So we could have uh, build, control, action, and coding. Uh, so we'll click on build. And then we gotta find a robot. So they have a variety of different robots that they currently carry. Uh, so all the older ones are gonna be like here on the right side. Uh, we're gonna be looking for our new, right there it is, Mebot 2.0. Uh, it's intermediate, so we're gonna go ahead and download our instruction manual here. Uh, once it loads up, you see that it's kind of pretty cool. So you have these step-by-step -step directions explaining how to go ahead and build this thing. Uh, and then if you do get confused, you can always go ahead and rotate it and you can zoom in by pinching on the screen. That is pretty cool. So definitely makes it a lot easier. So you can kind of get like a nice visual field on how to go ahead and make this thing. So you can see that, you know, as you kind of toggle among it, you'll go ahead and build the robot and then you can go ahead and control it and stuff of that nature. So with that being said, let's go ahead and queue up that montage next and build ourselves a MiBot 2.0. So our MiBot 2.0 is finally done and overall it was actually a fun process. Uh, there's a lot of intricate details that you don't really see unless you're building it. Specifically the back in terms of the whole gear aspect of it. I love the whole belt driven almost like servo that's actually controlling the head portion of it. So when you go ahead and rotate the arm you'll see on the back as it rotates the belt will go ahead and move the head at the same time. So that is actually pretty cool. Now other than that I do it 
find it very intriguing, especially if you compare it to the original BuzzBot. Uh, this one here is a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more almost like a humanoid robot kind of feel. So definitely I like how they're kind of taking that approach. Now you also have, of course, that new sensor on the front here. This here is a color sensor, so you can go ahead and program it to go ahead and recognize colors and do different functionalities based off of that. And then of course, the new power button on the back, which is pretty cool. And of course, the blinking LED eyes that you can program as well. Now, there's no better way of testing it than actually turning it on next. So let's go ahead and put our BuzzBot to the right and take a quick look at this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and first turn on the power button by pressing this button right over here. I'll start blinking and make some kind of like sound saying that it's ready. Uh, and then you'll go ahead and click on control and click on Bluetooth, and it's currently searching for our Jimu. Uh, and now it's connecting, and we are officially connected, so I'll hit OK. This shows cases that everything is ready to go. Shows the battery life as well. And now you have your typical analog control. So I can go ahead and hit up, and the robot will start walking forward, and you get back. Okay, and you can turn it right. And you can turn it left. And then you have these three buttons here. So the top one here, it looks like a dance. So like a little crazy looking dance, one more time. Okay, then this one here in the middle is more like a twirl. So pretty cute. Uh, so let's go put it back here again. And then you have this bottom left one here, press that. So again, doing just like a little dance. So you got three different dance numbers. They just did the splits, that's pretty cute. Watch that one more time. And we'll do the splits now. <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, so I'll click on back. And then uh, we have other different functions as well. So we have action. Action allows us to go ahead and see the different actions. Uh, and you can also create your own action. Uh, but to showcase something we haven't really seen. Uh, so on the bottom here, you'll see like break dance. Let's try this. Whoa. It's actually breakdancing, that's pretty cool. All right, and then you have Kung Fu. This is interesting. Whoa, that's kicking. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna kick him with the right foot now. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Very nice, good job. <laughs> uh, and then you have greeting, a little wave. Uh, so moving on, uh, we also have swing. So it's almost doing like a little swing kind of dance. Definitely a very flexible looking robot. So you can see how quick the servos respond, especially compared to the older model. Uh, it's a lot more efficient and a lot more uh, responsive. Now you can always click on new action here. Now this is kind of interesting. So this allows you to go ahead and create your own, uh, your own dance moves or your own attack moves, I guess you can say. So you have your variety of different six servos. So if all I do is drag and drop, I can click on the servo and I can go ahead and see it in real time as it rotates. Look at that. So I can go ahead and rotate it to the outwards just like this. Uh, and then I can go ahead and put the next one in. So this is servo number two. Uh, and I can go ahead and drag this one up just like that. And from there, I can go ahead and create my next function, which would be, whoa, okay, well, yeah, I, we won't do that. So then I'll hit play, watch this, it's pretty cool. So you just go ahead and create your own, and then I can go ahead and hit okay, and now I go ahead and create a new action name and new category and kind of add that among the different variations. So I can say, hi, done, and hit okay, and I'll save it in the new actions. All right, so another thing we could do is we can also go ahead and create our own moves. Uh, so we can click on record. So it'll record our movement. So we go ahead and set it up the way you like. So this is step number one, just like that. Hit pause. And then we'll go ahead and create another movement. So we'll put these arms down and uh, we'll hit pause. And then uh, we'll do a, one more and we'll kind of make them wave with one arm up. And then we'll rotate this foot just like that and hit stop. So we'll hit play. Wada bing bada boom. So it demonstrates it quite well. <laughs> so you can go ahead and adjust the speed of it. So you can go ahead and make it a lot slower or a lot faster by simply dragging and dropping it. All right, so the next thing we'll look at is coding. So with any of the good Jimu robots, you have the nice coding feature. So it's a lot of this simply drag and drop kind of method. So we can do uh, when the play button is tapped, uh, we can go ahead and create a function or a movement or a control. 
So we'll go ahead and hit movement and we'll go ahead and click on move forward and kind of drop it just like that. Uh, our speed, we can pick our speed from very fast or very slow, so we'll do very fast. And then I can hit play. So the robot will just keep moving forward. So let's hit stop. And yeah, kind of fun stuff over there. So we kind of get an idea exactly how that works. So it's just a simple drag and drop method, which is really nice. Now you also have lessons, which you can go ahead and uh, learn more about uh, going ahead and programming our robot, which is kind of nice. And then of course you have community where you can go ahead and build do-it-yourself creations and kind of share with the community. So that's kind of neat as well. And then uh, we can click on dancing robots over here. Uh, and just kind of learn about exactly what's going on in the community and stuff of that nature. So it's kind of neat that they have their own kind of home setup. And then lastly, we have our own create, which we can go ahead and create our own particular robot uh, and learn a little bit more about what else we could do with it. All right, well, there you guys have it. This year is the all new MiBot 2.0 by UbiTech. Definitely a lot of fun to build and a very interesting robot just because it has a nice mechanical feel, which you don't see too often nowadays. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, hit that thumbs down button twice. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.